SYP uh, assisted in the um, uh, review uh, of the readmission policy uh, printing as well as uh, dissemination uh, of the same and even implementation uh, of the readmission policy. Actually, it even assisted in bringing back uh, learners, both boys and girls, uh, back to school. Uh, we were able to facilitate uh, provision of information through the curriculum as well as uh, through extra uh, curricular activities. Sometimes when people hear about comprehensive sexuality or life skills, mostly it's about something to do with sex. But uh, life skills, as we offer it in the curriculum, it's, it's more to do with building uh, the learners to, for them to be able to grow uh, in terms of uh, education-wise. Apart from just the curriculum, there were also, as I indicated, ex extra curricular activities, uh, which includes empowering the young people with knowledge, as well as other uh, practices, like, for example, how to take care of themselves, prevention of HIV, uh, prevention of uh, other uh, sexually transmitted infections, prevention of LA and unwanted pregnancies, um, for the learners that dropped out of school, uh, facilitating through the learners, through the interaction with the parents, the communities. The contribution of uh, SYB, we have seen uh, quite a number of uh, health service providers getting the capacity to provide the services to young people. At the same time, we have seen the involvement of young people themselves to mobilize themselves to be uh, encouraging other young people to access sexually productive health services uh, through various outlets, uh, that's the health facilities. We have seen an increase in the number of young people uh, in the same. And at the same time, we have seen an acceptance in terms of uh, utilization of contraceptives. You know, one of the uh, challenges that we have seen, it has been like uh, an increase in teenage pregnancies. But uh, within the 10 years that SYP has been implemented in Malawi, we have seen quite a number of uh, changes. We are reaching out to young people with correct information about their sexuality health so that they are able to make informed decision. What should they do, how their body develops, and then they don't just indulge in unwanted behaviors or unplanned sex. With the program we've also supported in the distribution of condoms to young people. So whenever they meet, we make sure they have access to condoms in the youth corners, in the youth clubs, in the youth-friendly health services, wherever they are meeting. Condoms are made available so that they access them and then they protect themselves from uh, unwanted pregnancies or getting H HIV or STIs, which is common among young people. Now we have a fully fledged policy on the readmission that is being used across the country to make sure that those girls that fall pregnant while they are in school, they are able to go back, deliver and come back to school. And that's the good thing that we can see, that it is being used and we are seeing girls going back to school using the readmission policy that the SYP program has supported. Mm -hmm.